I've been asked a question by uh, in Mendham. The need to have jil children is just another notion in the head. Why wouldn't it be perfectly efficient to just let that potentially destructive desire go? A perfectly reasonable question, it would seem, but I don't really know if there's any particular answer for that question. Um, first of all, uh, it assumes that people do the things that they do for logical, rational reasons. Why do people can collect stamps? I don't know if anyone actually collects stamps anymore, but uh, why do uh, people go sit on a Ferris wheel? Why do people um, go to work every morning? Why do people sit in front of a computer? Why do we do anything? What's our motivation for anything? What's your motivation for anything? Anything at all? What's your motivation? Why? I think that fundamentally that's an unanswerable question. I don't think that any of us can be sure of any of our, our own motives, what we seek to uh, accomplish by doing anything, let alone have children. Do you, are you so sure of yourself that you know your own motives? I'm not asking you that as anything other than a rhetorical question. But really, do I know why I get out of bed in the morning? Do I really understand that in a, in a thorough way? I doubt it. It seems to be that it's easier to do that than not do the opposite or not do something else. By not getting out of bed and going to work, I complicate my life to the point where it's easier to simply go to work every day. Whether or not I've got a hand in it, I'm a function of the world in which, to, to which I was born. I'm a creation of that world. I might believe that time, space, and all that sort of thing doesn't exist, but just watch what happens when I try to live as though they don't. So, it's the old question. In, what's better, inaction or action? What's better, to go along with the world? Or to just sit down and refuse to accept the world. Well, I think that I, I attempted at one point to figure out some way to avoid accepting the world. But inevitably, the world will pull you back in one way or another, unless you're willing to just sit down and die. Um, and um, as far as having kids go, uh, goes, that's another thing that may actually be easier to do than not to do for a lot of us, for everybody, or for most people, uh, for that matter, simply because it's, it's easier to have kids than to not have kids, in the same way is that it's easier to play solitaire than not to play solitaire. Just sit there and do nothing and watch what happens. Dynamism and activity just seems to be built right into our condition as human beings. Um, why would an antinatalist attempt to do anything? Stop having kids. Nothing. To, there's nothing else to do after that. I suppose one could, you know, do that. But um, and, and, and in all honesty, that does seem to me to be a rational thing to do if you come to the conclusions of asymmetry and all this sort of thing. But that, that again, that's another argument. <clears throat> if you're going to ask yourself why would you have kids, you're going to have to ask yourself the bigger picture. Why do anything at all? Who can answer that for each of us except for us ourselves? In other words, I don't really think that that's a reasonable question to ask after all. Thank you.